A handful of Hong Kong government officials, economists, and leaders of financial sector presented a high-end forum on Monday, focusing on how to grasp opportunities in implementation of China's new five-year plan. Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Chief Executive Lun Chen Ying said in his remarks that Hong Kong, as an international financial hub, could offer professional services to those international corporations in need. Besides, he suggested the city to devote it into country's new wave of development of innovation and technology. He said Hong Kong would strengthen cooperation with Chinese mainland in the field of innovation and creative industries by encouraging young generation into industries. He said Hong Kong can also serve mainland startups with its experiences in service industry. Ba Shu Song, chief China economist of Hong Kong Exchange, urged Hong Kong to expand its influences to commodity under a backdrop of the One Belt One Road initiative. He said, as a financial hub, Hong Kong should counter pricing right for commodities. It means a lot to Hong Kong in participating the Belt and Road Initiative and other projects. For commercial banks, they should extend from equity financing to fixed income and commodity area. Nicholas Yang, Secretary for Innovation and Technology Bureau of Hong Kong SAR Government, said Hong Kong has a number of world-class factories. Meeting Hong Kong is still an attractive label, which is widely acknowledged around the world. He suggested Hong Kong focus on three areas: robotics, smart city, and aging society. Robotics can help the city solve many problems stemming from aged population. Hong Kong has first-class city management system, which lays a firm foundation for building up a smart city. He said those advanced technologies offer business opportunities to enterprises.